Hello, everyone. It's me again. Once again, sincere thanks for your time and also your strong support. Today, I'd like to continue on our discussion on receiver system. To be more specific, superhydrodite receiver. The objective of this video is going to discuss what is image frequency. And I'm also going to share an idea how we can reject the image frequency. I'm also going to explain why we need to have dual or double conversion superhydrodite receiver. This will be the part 4 series discussion on the superhydrodite receiver. The earlier on series discussion, part 1, part 2 and part 3, I have put the video link under the description. So please take a look on those videos if you're keen to know more about superhydrodite receiver. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Let's understand what is image frequency. Image frequency, FIM, is an unwanted frequency. So now we know that image frequency is undesired and we need to remove away this image frequency. They will produce another frequency at FIF as a result of missing process and cannot be removed by the IF filter. Let's take a look on the diagram here. The image actually occurs at the output of the mixer. Okay, before we start, okay, let's understand what is high side injection. I hope you still recall. If not, please take a look on the part 3 series discussion. For whether is it high side or low side injection, we compare RF and LO. Can you still remember? We compare FRF and FLO. If FLO is at higher frequency as compared to FRF, we call this high side injection. Remember, we compare RF and LO. Looking at the position of LO, if LO has a higher frequency, then we know that this is high side injection. For example, for this case here, we want to listen to class 95, which broadcasts at the frequency of 95 megahertz. Okay, so this is basically the DJ voice, for example, and this is the desired band that I want to appear at the output of the mixer. What happened here is this FRF is separate exactly FIF with the FLO. On the other side, the image actually occur when it also exactly separate with the LO by a factor of FIF. So from here, you can see that basically they are mirror image exactly at the same frequency of FIF. There is another component, which is image, which is undesired. Let's take a look what happened at the output of the mixer. For example, over here, okay, we actually want to receive this desired band from class 95. So basically with this, we will be able to hear the DJ voice. However, with the image exactly separate at FIF, the image will also appear at the output of the mixer. Hence from here, we know that this is undesired. The signal that we want to receive actually look like this, but at the output of the mixer, it's basically a combination of the desired band with the image. And from here, we probably cannot hear clearly what is the DJ voice. And hence, we need to find a way how we can actually reject away the image. This is what we call a low side injection, high side injection. Again, like what I mentioned earlier on, we compare LO and RF. And if LO happen at lower frequency as compared to RF, we know that this is low side injection. As for high side injection, we compare RF and LO. Again, look at the position of LO. If LO is at higher frequency as compared to RF, we know that this is high side injection. And for low side injection, the image actually occur at the low frequency. As for high side injection, 
the image actually occur at higher frequency as compared to the other component here. So earlier on, I mentioned we need to remove away the image. So where is the component from the super hydrotype receiver that will be taking care of removing the image? Okay, this will be taken care by this, we call a pre-selector or bandpass filter. So this state here basically reject away the image. Let's take a look. How does this pre-selector actually play a role to reject away the image? Before we continue, okay, I would like to discuss single and dual conversion hydrodite receiver. Okay, on top, this is a single conversion super hydrotype receiver. As the below diagram show the double or dual conversion super hydrotype receiver. I need to let you understand why we need to have dual or double conversion super hydrotype receiver. From here, you can see that there are additional components. Okay, there are all these in yellow. Okay, these are all the additional components. When we having additional component, this will act out the cost Okay, which is also undesired. But what is the motivation? Why we need to have double or dual conversion super hydrodite receiver? Let's take a look again on this dual or double conversion super hydrodite receiver. For example, on the first stage of so-called the conversion hydrodite receiver, we want to have a high IF. As for the second stage of dual conversion super hydrodite receiver, we want to have a low IF, okay, which means that up on the very first stage, we want to have a high IF. As for the second stage of the super hydrodite receiver, we want to have low IF. Let me explain why. Before I continue, let's put into an example in order to understand better. I'm going to discuss based on four scenarios. Firstly, I'm going to have the first stage under low IF. Second, first stage under high IF. Okay, so basically from here, I will conclude whether we need to have low IF or high IF. Next, I will move to the second stage. Again, I will discuss on low IF and also high IF. And from here, I also will do a conclusion why we need a low IF or high IF on the second stage. Let's start the discussion under the first scenario, the first stage under the low IF. Okay, for example, I assume that FIF having the frequency of 10.7 kilohertz. Okay, again, this is the class 95 signal. Okay, again, when this is 10.7 kilohertz, which means low IF, this desired band is actually very close to my LO. And this image exactly happen at FIF away from the desired band. Can you see here? So this is the original signal that I want to appear at the output of the mixer and exactly space a part of FIF from the FLO. I actually have the image. Okay, remember I told you earlier on, this band pass filter is supposed to remove away the image. Let's assume this is the response of a bandpass filter. Okay, we know that filter, basically if we need to have a very high selective filter, this will be very costly. And in, in a real re reality world, okay, we need to anticipate that the bandpass filter response actually looks something that looks like this. Okay, I, I think I need to do a little bit over accelerating on the diagram in order to let you fully understand this. So from here, you can see that this is a bandpass filter response. So at the output on the mixer, basically what I will receive will be also the desired band. And also I will be able to receive part of the image. Can you see here? Part of the image will be also be able to leak up from the mixer. Okay, so this is under the first scenario, low IF 10.7 kilohertz. Next, I'm going to discuss on high IF. Okay, high IF means that the desired band is further away from FLO. Okay, so this is what I mean when I actually have a high IF. Again, it's the same thing, exactly the same of FIF 
I actually also have the image. Okay, again, this image is undesired. I need to remove away the image. Again, when the signal actually pass to the RF filter, let's say the filter characteristic never change. Basically, with this filter characteristics, you can see that I completely reject away the image. Can you see here? So this is exactly the same frequency response of a RF filter together with the first scenario that I described earlier on. And from here, you can see that I can clearly select the desired band. And for this case here, at the output of the mixer, I actually contain only the desired band. I completely reject away my image. So therefore, on the first stage, I actually want to have a high IF. By having a high IF, I actually space this image further away from the desired band. And when I further away from the desired band, the band pass filter can clearly select the desired band that I want, as you can see from here. If the image having a small IF, they are basically closer to the desired band. And based on certain response of the band pass filter, I may also select the image. But from here, you can see that with high IF, I totally animate away the image. And this become ideal. At the output of the mixer, I don't have any image anymore. And from here, I conclude that my first stage, I actually want to have a high IF. Next, on the second stage, again, let's put onto two scenarios for discussion. One is to have low IF over here. So I'm going to have a low IF. Okay, when we actually have a low IF, this RF is actually much, much closer to the local oscillator. Okay, from here, again, because earlier on, the image will be able to leak from the air. But over here, you can see that there won't be any image happen at the input of the mixer of the second stage anymore. So from here, okay, I can say that there is no image anymore. And with a certain response of this IF filter, you can see from here, I actually can select this desired band. And at the output of the second mixer, I basically also correctly select the desired band to pass through. As for high IF here, again, for high IF, the desired band is further away from FLO. And again, because this is already filtered away the process, I don't have any image appear at the output of the mixer. From here, you can see that I basically select the desired band. And at the output of the mixer, I also basically receive the desired band without any image. So from here, you can conclude that whether is it low IF or high IF, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, I will still receive the desired band. However, let me have a quick discussion on this. However, okay, I'm going to share a quick discussion versus the low IF and high IF. When I actually have a low IF, okay, which means that I actually have a lower I add value, I actually can put more channel okay, into the same spectrum. Can you see here? When I have a low IF at the second stage, I actually can afford to have more channel in the same space. However, if I have a high IF on the second stage, I actually can have lesser channel. So from here, if I have more channel, which means that I'm able to put more radio broadcast over here, and if I have less channel, I can only put a handful of radio broadcasts over here. So from here, I conclude that at the second stage, I need to have low IF. When I actually have a low IF, I am able to put more channel into the same spectrum. Hence, I will be able to accommodate more user or more FM broadcasts as compared to high IF. So... I conclude on the second mixer, I want to have a low IF. By having a low IF, I will be able to put more channel. In conclusion, as mentioned earlier on, okay, the first mixer, I want to have a high IF. If I have a high IF, okay, I don't put so much stress on the RF filter. 
I basically can reject away the image by having a high IF because the image is very, very far away from my desire band. As for the second stage here, I want to have a low IF. By having a low IF, I actually can accommodate more numbers of channel. When I actually can communicate more numbers of channel, I actually allow more FM broadcast, for example, for this case here. Hence, with this, I hope you understand why we need to have a super or dual conversion super hydrodite receiver. Because I need to have two stage, one having a high IF to reject away the image. Another stage is low IF in order to accommodate more numbers of channel into a specific spectrum. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.